Hello, today I wanted to do an update on my review on the Misfits Market Vegetable Box Review. Now, I did this review about, was it a week, 10 days ago? And at first, when the vegetables came, they looked pretty good. And I was like, well, this is pleasantly surprising. But... <laughs> After I'd had the vegetables a few days, things went downhill really fast. So I really wanted to give you the full picture because, quite frankly, I just didn't want you to think that I endorsed this product. I will tell you, it is a huge ripoff. I mean, I'm a little ticked that I spent $40 on $10 worth of produce. And frankly, it is just a huge ripoff waste of money. So here's what happened. The produce looked fairly good in the box and you can go see my video up here and it, you can see it actually looked pretty good coming out of the box but right away the next day my tomatoes started molding, my lettuce, I store it like I always store all my lettuce in the refrigerator, it started wilting and getting really limpy and I was like, oh great, well, okay, so I'm out, tomatoes and lettuce, I can maybe cut it off, that kind of thing. Well, I wasn't able to get around to use the tomatoes and lettuce the next day. So the third day, I went to go use the tomatoes and lettuce. The tomatoes were basically rotted through. I tried to cut off some of it, but it was just fermented through the whole tomato. The lettuce was horridly bitter. I mean, it wasn't even edible. Mike and I can eat a lot of things. Mike was just like, this is really gross. <laughs> and it was just so bitter, it wasn't even edible. So that happened on day three. And on day four, I went to go eat a grapefruit. Now guys, grapefruits should last a really long time. Like, we're talking weeks and weeks I've had grapefruits. By day four, I can't remember if it was four or five, my grapefruit was molding. And I was like, okay. <laughs> so then on day six, I went to go use the potatoes. Now, potatoes are a long-term storage food. They should last a really long time, like months. And I went to go use the potatoes. They were all green when I went to slice into them. And then I am not exaggerating three quarters of every potato was black and I could only use a small section of a potato. So out of, I think it was eight or 10 potatoes, I only got about two to three potatoes worth of potato out of it. So essentially half of the food in my box was rotted or rotting. The squash, I went to use the yellow squash. It wasn't not usable, but it was going downhill really fast also. Squash should last quite a while. And it was really going downhill quick. And I ended up being able to use it that day. I think this was day four or five. So of everything that was in there, the lettuce, the tomato, grapefruit, potatoes, squash, iffy were all basically unusable. Squash was usable, but everything else was basically a huge waste of money. So I ended up spending $40 on what amounts to eight to $10 worth of usable produce. I would like now, to take just a minute to tell you about our saving of the green sale going on right now for St. Patrick's Day. We have up to 70% off in our stores. Everything is on sale, including our print books and our eBooks. Please go check it out at livingonadime.com. Now, I'd also like to address the packaging. Why I address the packaging is because so many people who are into saving the environment go on and on and on about how the package is recycled and all this. Here's the thing. You need to really calculate the cost on those types of things. 
And why I was pointing out the packaging is if you're using, if you're buying this to help save on packaging and save all this produce, my point was you are using more manufacturing to manufacture all that cardboard than you did some plastic bags that are about this big. And I know you can use the cardboard in the garden. I do it all the time. I know you can compost it and that's fine. But think of the resources that are used to make all this packaging. That was a lot of packaging, a lot of resources to use to make this packaging that then you're going to compost. When if you would just go to the store and get it, it would save an extra box and all that packaging that you're not using. And so in plastic bags, we reuse plastic bags. We use them as trash can liners. We use them as cat litter and dog poop picker uppers. We use them to put sandwiches in. We use it to put leftovers in. Like if we have a leftover um, broccoli or whatever, we'll, we'll reuse it and put it in there. So reuse your plastic bags several times and it still uses way less manufacturing than things like huge cardboard boxes, which are technically recyclable, but you use so many resources that it negates any recycling benefit that you would get. So that was my point on the packaging and apparently everybody missed that and that's fine. So here's my opinion. I would say that you would really have to live a long way from the grocery store for this to actually be worth it. And I mean a long way. We're talking three or four hours away from the grocery store. I have lived an hour's drive each way from the grocery store and it was still worth it to go into town once every three or four weeks and get the fresh fruits and vegetables and bring them home. It still saved way more money than having this delivered. Now, maybe if you're disabled or something like that and you can't get to the grocery store, okay, maybe, but just understand, you are going to be paying four times the amount that you would at the grocery store. So maybe canned or frozen might be a better option for you, especially if you have grocery delivery in your area. So that's my review on the Misfits market, guys. Really, we try to keep it simple. That's why we wrote our Dining on a Dime cookbook to give you ideas that you can use to save money without spending a lot of money to save money. So this really doesn't save money on your vegetables. It just really doesn't. It's a ripped off. I'm kind of ticked. I spent $40 for eight to $10 worth of produce. <laughs> they probably would give me my money back. And I don't know on that. Although I've had several people say that it was a huge hassle getting their money back. So I don't know. I'm probably not going to even try it. But anyway, if you're thinking about Misfits Market, I would not waste your time or your money it is just not worth it. Please visit us at livingonadime.com and we will see you guys next.